uh, sometimes uh, patients start to cry. Yeah. Uh, and uh, crying should be a sign for a uh, deeper feeling. Is it always so? Yeah. And it's not always so. Sometimes people do the crying. They think it's very, that they're very important when they cry. And they make it. But you can see it. You can see the tension and the pressure they use in the crying. And the body looks different when they cry. Ooh, 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 you know and make this crying, or when the crying comes out of them, because then the sobbing m moves the diaphragm. You can see that, that it is a very different way. That is, there's also a different tone on the crying, when the crying is not done, but is allowed to happen. But when the, pers when the crying is allowed to happen, that is when something can come up in the person about experiences or it can the experience can be handled with a crying. Is it good to cry? It's certainly not bad. But some uh, don't cry at all. It doesn't matter either. They can still experience and they can still experience something very deeply. Usually when they don't cry maybe they have just one tear that comes down the side of their face. And then we know they have gone to a deep place where they experience whatever is going on for them. It is actually even better than the than the sobbing that goes on with them. Um, but sometimes I don't experience anything in a treatment. Yes. But it can come later. I know if I touch somebody for a certain amount of time, something is happening. I know there is a hormone being formed when I touch people that way. That hormone is called oxytocin and it gives peace and quiet to people. So if nothing else happens but that, something is happening. And I also have the experience when I don't know that anything happens with people, very often something does happen with them. So I don't worry so much. I just worry, I mean, I just do touch people, and if I touch them from the way of my inner knowing, then I know something happens with them, if they show it or not. And sometimes something comes up for them later. You know, when they told me about the person I did the demonstration on, and who was very sort of uh, nonchalant about it, and then she went into the into the dining room and then she started to cry there, you know, that's all right too. So I didn't see her cry or didn't see her, she didn't say that she felt anything in particular. So it slowly came up for her and afterwards something happened then. Can it come up even later, days or weeks? Oh, it, or? Yes, we never know when it comes up, but we know that after we touch them that something is happening. They would have to hold very hard for nothing to happen. And that is their privilege too, if they feel that they scared about having something happen, something coming up for them. They have the privilege of not, of suppressing it, not having it come up. Excuse me. So if they have a deep experience, hmm? can that uh, lead to change in the person's life? Of course it. Sometimes, or not always. Huh? Always. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Because once the experience comes up, it frees them in a certain way. It gives them much more room to breathe, much more room to move. And also, they don't have to control themselves so much. There is a change mm -hmm. in them. And then, of course, if there is a change in them, then there is a change in their lives. But some don't have so many emotions. They more get a thought, a uh -huh. Even that helps. Even that is fine. Mm -hmm. I say, yes, I, I know. Yes, I know. Yeah. So that little change can give... It can give a, make a big change in their lives. Uh -huh.